I think the effect isn't just about cycling. I hope it has a, a big effect on the young men out there carrying pistols. And I hope that they realize that something like this, I hope, I hope it wakes them up to see that this is wrong. We can't be doing this. That, that, and I hope, I, hope, I hope it has a more national effect than just a cycling effect. Cycling is too small to deal with something like this. Um, this impacts lives and this impacts you know, all the cycling community, of course, but I think the whole nation as well. Jamin was, was great for Belize. Jamin, he picked up, he tells me from Maine and as a kid, and I say as a big jaw, so Jamin. He also had another name, Clack Clacks, which anytime he changed the gear, he changed it purposely so he had Clack Clack, and Jamin gone down the road, and he was so fast that when he moves, you, you, you don't have time to respond. He had the greatest amount of speed at zero distance, meaning most riders need a very high tempo lead out. Jamin could go, as they say, from zero to 60, 10 miles an hour, boom, in no time, as if he done it on the road. Another name, of course, that everybody knows him about is the famous one, Golden Boy. And that's because um, of the gold medals he won in different regional competitions. The fact that Belize could always depend on Jamin to bring back gold. Uh, cross country, which for us is gold. He won both uh, 1997 under the Belshai banner, 2001 under my banner. He would have won in 2005 had he not had a bad crash. His crank broke at Hattieville. And um, all in all, he was in fact Belize's golden boy. He's, as other people have said, our Michael Jordan, our Muhammad Ali. In terms of the loss that this has, or the impact it has on the cycling community, share with us your, your thoughts or your feelings on that. I mean, it's like it ripped a part of our hearts out. I mean, every, my phone rang off the hook. I mean, you know, my friend said, Andrew, please tell me it's not true. And I said, well, I have to be real, it's true. You know, and like, I couldn't even work the rest of the day. I, I worked very slow because it keep coming back to me and said, it's not true, it's, it's like a dream.